Hi everyone. This week, we will learn all about food from around the world, from different cultures. Today, we will read an article titled, Thai Sticky Rice. We will hear some words such as dessert, sticky, sweet. How do we say dessert in Spanish? Can you help me? That's right. We say postre. And in Chinese, we say xiandian. How about sticky? That's right. In Spanish, we say pegajosa or pegajoso. And in Chinese, we say nian. How about sweets? Mm, I definitely love sweet foods. Yep, that's right. In Spanish, we say dulce. And in Chinese, we say xianda. All right, let's take a look at these pictures. Mm, look at these desserts. Have you had any? You have? And how did it taste? That's right. Desserts are usually very sweet. All right, friends, now it's time to get to our article a day. Let's start by looking at this picture. What do you see? I see mango sticky rice. Remember friends, I will read this article two times. So listen carefully because afterwards we will write or draw one thing we have learned to share with our class. So let's start at the top of the page. Did you know that rice can be a dessert? People in Thailand love to eat sticky rice for dessert. Can you guess why people call it sticky rice? Because it is sticky. People add coconut milk to sticky rice. Coconut milk makes it sweet. Sticky rice is delicious with fruit. Mango is a very popular fruit to eat with sticky rice. What kind of fruit would you like to eat with sticky rice? Hmm. But one of my favorite fruits, other than mango, are strawberries. Hmm. I wonder how strawberry sticky rice would taste. I'd have to try it. So let's read this one more time. Did you know that rice can be a dessert? People in Thailand love to eat sticky rice for dessert. Can you guess why people call it sticky rice? Because it is sticky. People add coconut milk to sticky rice. Coconut milk makes it sweet. Sticky rice is delicious with fruit. Mango is a very popular fruit to eat with sticky rice. What kind of fruit would you like to eat with sticky rice? I'd love to hear your ideas. All right, friends. Now it's time to take out our book of knowledge. You can grab your notebooks or a piece of paper and something to write with. I will take out our class book of knowledge and we will write or draw one thing you learned to share with our class. Let's go to day 17, title, Thai sticky rice and so many kinds of food. The task is to write or draw one thing you learned 
from the article, Thai Sticky Rice. Remember friends, we can always go back to our word bank to help us spell any new words that we have learned, such as dessert, sticky, and sweet. So what is something that we learned from the article Thai Sticky Rice? I know, I learned that rice can be a dessert. I had never thought about that. So I'm gonna start by drawing a bowl of rice, of sticky rice. And I also learned that in Thailand, they add fruit and coconut milk to their rice to make it sweet. Well, one of my favorite fruits are strawberries. So I'm going to color my rice in red, just like the color of strawberries. And when I'm done with my drawing, it's time for me to label my picture. This is a picture of sticky rice. How do we spell sticky? Can you help me? It's in our word bank. What's the first sound we hear? Sticky. That's right, that's the letter S. T, T, I, I. That's right, C, K comes together to make that K sound. Y, sticky rice. R, R, I, C, and a silent E. The E helps make the I say it's me. So now that I've drawn my picture, I labeled my picture, it's time for me to write my sentence. What can I say? Hmm. Well, I learned that sticky rice is a dessert in Thailand. So I'm going to write that for my sentence. Sticky rice is, and how do we spell is? That's right, I and S, because sometimes the S makes that Z sound. Sticky rice is a dessert. And if I don't know how to spell dessert, I can always check my word bank. It's a dessert in Thailand. And if you wanna check the spelling of Thailand, we can always go back to the article that we just read. So can you help me read my sentence? Sticky rice is a dessert in Thailand. All right, friends, now it's your turn.